Hello everybody, this is Thanos here, and today we are back in The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In this episode, we're going to be returning to the Lanayru province and continuing where we left off. Because we had gone to do a bunch of side stuff, and now we're done doing all that side stuff, as you can see. So, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be doing that. I believe we have everything we need now. I think that we're, there was one thing we didn't get at Beetle Shop, but we are fine not getting that for now. We're just gonna have to come back and get it later. So, time to head to uh, back to Lanayru so we can get started. So, uh, at Lanayru, we're gonna be wanting to go to that little quicksand waterfall area that we saw before. There's not really much to show in between then and now, so I'll just see you guys there. Alright, and here we are, the Lanayru Desert. Let's go ahead and get our claw shots out and climb up this side here. And all we gotta do now is jump to the middle here, uh, preferably not fall in the quicksand, and use our claw shots to climb up to this area we have not been to before. Let's head on in. We are in the light. We are in the Lanayru Caves now. Interesting play. Another Goron. All right, we also got some butterflies in this spot here, so let me go ahead and do a little bit of strumming. Hello, hello, hello! Boiling! And we got ourselves an evil crystal, nice. Uh, some rupees in the grass too, which is neat. Uh, go ahead and get these bombs to blow up, maybe it'll cause a chain reaction. It sure did, and it also is causing that to blast off. So that door right there requires a key, so there's not much we can do there. Looks like that's the direction of Lanayru Sand Sea. Uh, I got a Lanayru ant here. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. Uh, there's not really much else to this area. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I am researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here. I will just keep on looking. So your name is Link. I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? What do you mean? And how about you, Link? Why are you here? You are looking for a sacred flame. That sounds like something I have heard of before, but maybe not. Sweet Goro, I remember now. I read something about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Lanayru San Sea. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to the Lanayru San Sea if you just go straight through here. If you want to get to the Lanayru San Sea, you are going to need this key. I guess he gives us the key. Good luck to you! Well, good luck to you too, bud. Let's go ahead and put some bombs down. We did not upgrade our bomb bag fully, I don't believe. Uh, yeah, medium bomb bag, so we're gonna have, have to do that in the future. Got a hole we can crawl down here. Uh, I'm going to blow these up with a bomb. Just to see what we get. Just scavenge- just scavenging around this room, seeing- seeing what's good, I guess. Get some extra money in the process. We are pretty tight on funds right now. Put another one down here. Another one down here. Okay, it looks like Gorons don't fully roll up yet. We have to put two bombs in this hole, it looks like. Getting some bomb bowling done at the start of this episode. Oh! All right, thank you for the little chime there, game. It's kind of pointless since I just gotta roll another bomb down there anyway. And those two rocks had nothing in them. Figures. Got three rupees down this one, which is pretty cool. Now we can head back out. And I don't think there's really much of anything else out here. Nope. That appears to have been it. Can we go up this way? Yes, we can. 
Let's see what's over here. The Lanayru Mine. And... A new claw shotable area. One that it looks like we might have been to before. I'm just gonna head all the way back and see where I get. Alright, here we are. And we have been here before. Okay. Well, this is a rather pointless endeavor. I see you guys when I get back there again. Alright, back in here now. The only thing we still haven't done is open this chest, so let's go ahead and do that. We get a uh, monster. Okay, whatever. I. Why are you telling me... Oh, you're telling me how to get items from monsters. Something I mentioned already. Um, I think I need to get up there if I... Oh, yeah. There's a claw shot point up there, of course. I'm blind, I'm sorry. Alright, let's open the door and head on through. Not sure why this needed to be a tunnel. A report, Master. This is Laneru Sansi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. This area operated on a new form of power. There's a 90% probability that the sacred flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring the sand sea. Will do, I guess. There's not really much else to do here. Alright, gotta get down there somehow though, so we might as well move on forward with our claw shots. I don't believe there's anything we can get uh, back around this area, so we pretty much can only move forward. Can't cut forward like that, okay. Alright, got the lower one down here. If we can actually hit it, there we go. Then we can head on down. And grapple across with this box here. And there we go. We've made it across. Let's go ahead and restock our bombs real quick. This will take just a second. I have a question. Do these bombs just grow with the hemp in a pre-knotted and fused state? Because there's clearly hemp in these bombs. Like, you can see it. So, how does... How's the hemp get there? Just a random thought from me, I guess. Whatever. Alright, let's go ahead and explore for a little bit. Uh, we'll go to the sand sea proper in just a moment, but I want to see what else there is to this area. I don't believe there's much of anything else. I would prefer you not do that. Okay. Okay, good. I love getting hit by electricity so many times in a row. Okay, one more of you losers. There we go. We finally did it that time. Didn't expect one of them to show up here, but here we are. Got some ants here. We can go ahead and grab them. Shouldn't be too difficult. Got two more to grab here. There we go. They were easy to grab. Nothing on that side there. We can head over here now. I don't believe there's anything special over here. Really? Good lord. I wish our sword was electricity proof. That would be so great. But it's not. So here we are. Good lord. Oh, 
Why did one of those float in midair? Good lord. Okay. Let's stop getting hit by those. Go ahead and dig in here. Got another ant. Of course, that's all that was there, I guess. Nothing is in there. And do we have anything of note up here? Hello. You look like a good thing. If I can actually hit you. Come on. There we go. And in here we have... A lot of baby gomas. Good lord. But also a goddess cube, which is pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and get this goddess cube up there. First goddess cube of the new area, too. Alrighty then. We can just climb out of this area, I believe. Yes, we can. There's a box right here. If I don't jump to the side like I just did. Oh, controller? What is going on? Okay. Not sure what was happening there. It's been a while since I've had any drift issues. All right, that seems to be it. So let's go ahead and save and move on forward. All right, let's see. What do we got here at the end of this dock? Hello. Nothing. Well, hit this and see what happens, I guess. Oh, that crystal's not coming off anytime soon. Hey, you. Hmm. Who are you? Is it some human from? Who am I? I am the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Fweep. It was the day of the storm. Fweep. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. And then those brutes. The pirates suddenly attacked us. They were after Nehru's flames. My crew was imprisoned, and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I bet my hat they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it. In order to protect Nehru's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. Weep. You'd say you're searching for Nehru's flames. Oh, so you need Nehru's flame to find someone important to you. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew. Weep. If you'll help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Really? Well, in that case... Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart, Dweep. There's a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. So first, you need to get on this boat and set a horse for, chip for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off, Vroom? All right, let's go, Vroom. I might stop doing the sound effects for that guy. My circuit sparked a life in the salt air. It feels good to take the seas again after so long, but let's see if I can remember how to navigate. Press L to move. Press B to move. Press B while moving to speed up. Press ZR to ready the cannon, then press ZR again to fire it. I placed an X mark over on the island where my house is. There's a pier on the island where we can dock. All right, good to know. Right, let's go. All right, as you can see, things get pretty um, barren out here. There's not much to look at in this whole area. But we're going to explore a little bit nonetheless just to see what we can find. I don't believe there's anything of any significance around here. But it's worth looking for anyway. Yeah, I believe this little ring of rocks here is where we're going to want to go first. Not the skipper's house, though. Skipper's house is a little bit premature. 
So we're gonna head here first instead. Can I dock here, please? Um... Please? I guess not. Okay. Moving on, I guess. Uh, now I guess I'll hit the sk uh, skipper's house. Because apparently we could not dock at that little island set yet. I'm just gonna slow down whenever... I run out of quote-unquote stamina, I guess. Not sure why the boat has stamina, but here we are. This is a nice little area, though. I like it. I, this area, there's not much to do here in the water. Like, you're basically just going around barren wasteland here. But I still like the aesthetic of the area, just the idea of a desert that's also an ocean. Alright, we're gonna get out here now. Skipper's a Retreat. Imagine making your house look like your face. We've arrived. My shack is at the very top. The sea chart we need is in my shack, but you're the one who'll have to go get it. There are more monsters about than before, so be careful. I can't wander far from the boat, so I'll just stay here. All right, thanks for letting us know. Let's head on through. All right, we can go ahead and save real quick before we do anything. Thank you much. Dig a little bit here. And then we're going to go ahead and use our beetle to get rid of uh, this guy here. And there he goes. Nice. So we head up here. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything we can do with this thing. I don't believe... Yep, yeah, no. That is nothing right now. Got some rupees here. Let's grab the heart that that thing dropped. Because I am pretty low on hearts right now. That thing out of the way. Come on. Okay, I can make it back. Yep, there we go. And now we just want to hookshot our way up here. Okay, that is just a platform back. No reason to go there. Got some Dekubabas here who are growing despite the lack of uh, time stone. So there's just one patch of fertile grass in this entire region. Pretty unfortunate, I guess. All right, let's use the hook shot on that, which is, this is a pea hat. Uh, pea hats are like enemies that essentially Usually, I believe they move around, but I guess this one in specific isn't. There are P-Hats in other Zelda games as well, in, and they've been around since the very first Zelda game, actually. And P-Hats in Ocarina of Time, I believe there's one P-Hat in Ocarina of Time, actually, and it's a really big one. Uh, and it's out in Hyrule Field, I believe. I don't think that P-Hat is related to anything you have to do in the game either. It's just there. Uh, we're gonna... Okay, that was a failure. Yep, okay. I thought we could jump to that, but apparently not. Um... I was pretty sure there was a way to get there. But I guess not. You... Jerks. Is there seriously no way to get to that? I know there is, because I've played this game before. Obviously, there's a way to get to it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. All right, let's go ahead and grab onto you. And then onto that. Got another pea hat up here we can grab. Oh, come on. There we go. And then further up. And here we go. Let's see what we got up here. Some ants that are... Well, there go the ants. And we got more ants. I'll catch one of you before you fall to your death. Maybe. 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna ignore you for a second. And let's see if we can't... Okay, I thought we would be able to glide down there, but I guess not. Hmm. What to do, what to do? Maybe there is a hookshot thing over there that I'm just not seeing right now. No, there is not. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just figure it out later. We do have something t we still need to do, though, so we're going to do that still. So, back up we go, I guess. All right, you stupid moblin. I'm gonna climb over your shield and get you from behind. Okay, that didn't quite finish you off. Okay, but that did. Nice. And we got a red rupee from it. Hello. Okay, that wasn't fair. You didn't even get me a chance to get ready. Okay, that's one. There we go, you're done for. Let's open this chest up. Got a red rupee. Red rupee. Okay, that chest I still can't quite get, I don't think. Uh, we can grapple back down if we want, but I'm going to use the scatter shot on... Never mind, I'm not going to use a scatter shot on those vines because those vines are dead and not, cannot be grappled onto. I don't want my slingshot out. Over here, please. Thank you much. Come on, get down here. Alright, you're dead. And you drop nothing, of course. We can slingshot this thing open. And that is a new pea hat that has opened up. And it's gonna fly over that away. And that'll help us grapple up to this area here. Uh, we just have to kind of wait for it to get into position. There's not much we can do other than wait here. Okay, now it's stopped moving. Alright, and anything down here before we head up? Nope, alright. Time to head up, then. I said head up. Thank you. There we go. And now what have we here? Nothing. Good. Okay. Not sure what that was. Uh, get the beetle out. We're gonna get rid of this Deku Baba first. There we go. Get owned. Alright. Center. Thank you. Go ahead and grapple across this way. We're gonna have to handle two of you now, which is rather unfortunate. Alright, let's get you now. There we go, you're both done for. Stupid birds. Alright. Okay, we got the pea hats flying around here. And I would prefer not to die. So we gotta time this. Um, okay, we're good. We somehow didn't fall to our death. Which is very good. Now we can go over this way. And we have made it to his house. Ah, I think this is how we're supposed to get that chest. Ah, uh, but first, let's go ahead and climb up. Can we grapple to these dead leaves? No, we can't. I didn't think so. Pretty sure the dead uh, vines are off limits to grapple, even though we can still climb up them. 
which doesn't make much sense to me. Oop, hello. You're valuable. And you're gone. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Well, I guess we're going inside now. I need that chart, please. Oh. Well, this is a predicament. Got a bunch of scorpions in here now. Any more. Nope, we're good. Time to dust this place out. I'm assuming that is going to be the chart, but let's just dust the rest of the place off, too. Just in case. Let's do it out. Huge crew. Uh, so far, not anything else in here other than Amber Relic, which is still good, but I digress. Too bad this guy is trapped in the past, otherwise he could have come back and cleaned up his house. Alright, that seems to be it. Let's get rid of these pots, because they're... Honestly, making the room look worse. There we go. And let's open this up. And there we are, the sage chart. Say chart. Master, look over there. Titanic. That is the ship containing Nehru's flame. There is a 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Evidently so. I don't believe there's anything else of value in here, but I can hook shot up here. I don't believe this does anything for us though. Yeah, I think, I think we're done in here. What's in here? Oh, really? That guy's basically dead. He just lives in the past. Alright. We've made it back out, and now, I believe, we can head down. But first, I'm gonna see how I can get the goddess chest and the chest. So, I'll be back in just a moment. Alright, so for the... Okay. That works, I guess. For the goddess cube, we are literally just supposed, just supposed to grab onto the vines with the claws. I did not think we could, but we can, apparently. Come on. Stop moving. There we go. Good lord, that was annoying. So just get as close to the edge as we can. And there we go, now it's working. I don't know why it didn't work before, but here we are. Now I just gotta get to this side, and while we're on the vines, we can go ahead and use the claw shots again. And jump over to the goddess cube now. And there we go. That's our second goddess cube of the area. Alright, and now we gotta get down to the chest, which I'm pretty sure I already know how to do. So we're gonna head back up to the house. I'll see you guys there. Alright, we have started diving from the house and now there we go made it to the chest and it is silver rupee nice making some good financial gains here let's go across this way here and now we just got to get back to the boat Pretty good progress is being made, if I do say so myself. And I'm going to just get rid of you again. Thank you for kindly dying. There we are. 
We have made it back. We have no reason to ever come back to this place. Let's go ahead and save. There we go. And with that, I will see you guys in the next episode where we're going to use that chart we just found to locate the ship. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.